Okay guys, here we go. In this video, I'm going to show you a uh, project that I have been working on here. So what we have is a uh, Android application that is going to allow us to communicate with uh, a circuit Python board. What we have inside here is a uh, circuit playground express, uh, but it should work with the other boards as long as you uh, mount the storage as writable. <clears throat> so I'm going to launch the application here, plug in the USB cable, uh, using an OTG adapter there is connected to the circuit playground. Click OK here on this uh, permissions pop-up. So uh, we can see we got this program loaded up here uh, that is printing some different stuff into the serial uh, terminal there for us. Uh, the other thing we could do is uh, we can send it like control commands. So like control C to go into the, the REPL uh, and control D to come back out and with that what we could do we can also swipe over here go to load and what that's going to do is go into the REPL uh, and then dump all the code from the main pi into the serial so that we can read it on the Android side put it in the screen here so uh, a moment ago if you noticed the little light inside there it was blue because in our Python code right here we have the color set to blue so just to show that this works, we're going to change it. We're going to change that over to zero, uh, pop this up here, maybe get some nice green going on instead of the blue, and we click save right there. Uh, got the progress bar running across the top. It is a little bit slow, because uh, if we swipe back, what you can see is going on here is uh, we're writing each line uh, one by one back into the main pi file. So it does take it a minute. Uh, but here we go. Now we're done. So we can go control D reload. Now we got the same program running, uh, but the LED inside there is green. So uh, if you are interested in this application, check out the link in the description below. Thanks, uh, and I hope you enjoy this video.